Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to dial in a Eureka grinder. Eureka grinders are unique in the fact that they don't have collars to adjust the grind setting, but they have these knobs here, uh, which have a worm gear or a reduction gear inside, which allows you to make very small micrometrical adjustments to your grind. So you'll see I have four grinders in front of me. Uh, this is the Minion Silencio, uh, this is the Eureka Atom, the Zenith, and I also have a Rocket Fausto. And I have all of these grinders here because the adjustment mechanism on them is the same. So I'm going to be using the Silencio uh, to dial in, however all of the principles are going to be exactly the same for whichever grinder we're using. So first let me explain what we're aiming for, what our goal is. We want to extract a shot of espresso in approximately 22 to 30 seconds and we want to get 30 milliliters of volume for a single shot or 60 milliliters for a double. I'm going to be using a double uh, portafilter and a double basket, so I'm going to be aiming for 60 milliliters, but all the principles apply whether you're pulling a single or a double. The machine that I'm using in this video is a Profitech Pro 700, and the reason why I chose this machine, it's because it has a highly visible shot timer, and we're going to be calibrating using time and volume, uh, so it will be easy for you to see. If your machine doesn't have a timer, just use your watch or a manual timer and you'll be fine. All of the principles apply regardless of what machine you have. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to see where we're at. So I'm going to take my portafilter and you want your basket to be clean and dry so I just give it a wipe. And I'm using the Silencio in manual mode. Uh, so I'm just going to grind approximately to the top of the basket and then level it off. And I can already tell you by looking at these grinds that this is too coarse. So my extraction is going to be too quick. But I'll show you because this is a very common problem. A lot of people have this issue. I'm going to use a large cup because I know that this is going to extract quickly. You can see the coffee is just gushing out. Uh, it's uh, a light color and this is not going to be very appetizing, of course that is too quick. It's under extracted. It's going to taste weak and sour. So that shot was extracted way too quickly. So what I have to do is I have to make my grind finder. And anytime you're adjusting your grind finder, you need to have the grinder running. You need to have the burrs moving. On the Eureka series grinders, these knobs, you move them clockwise to make the grind finer or counterclockwise to make it coarser. So I'm going to start grinding and I'm going to adjust my grind to a finer setting and I need a fairly big change in my grind so I moved it about I, I would say close to a half a turn because that was way too fast. The reason why I dumped those grinds is because I changed the grind setting and I want all of the grinds inside my basket to be at the new setting. And again, I'm using it in manual mode and I'm aiming to be uh, level with the top of the basket. And that's what I suggest when you're initially dialing in your grinder. We can dial in the dose after we have the consistency dialed in. So this will be attempt number two. I've gone finer. Let's see where we're at. This extraction, once again, is still much too fast. I have to go even finer with my grind. You can see that's no good. So my grind was uh, too coarse once again, so I just repeat the same process and adjust the grind even finer. Just dump that, and now I'll grind. Let's see where we're at now. This is looking much better. Uh, the first drop inside the cup was at about five seconds, which is uh, uh, what I like. That, that's pretty good for a normal shot of espresso. And we're at 22 seconds now and just under 30 mil per shot. And I'm going to stop it right there. And that's a beautiful extraction. The grinder's dialed in. So when you're happy with your extraction, you're going to want to program your dose. 
and on the Minion uh, Silencio, uh, that's done with an analog timer at the side. So you press the button in uh, to switch it from manual to timed mode. And the best way to do this really is with a scale. I'm going to be aiming for 18 grams, and I have a scale here which I've teared. And first I'm going to see where it's at. And I'll adjust accordingly in order to get my 18 gram dose. So I have 15.6, so I'm going to want to make the uh, time a little bit longer. And the way you do that is just by adjusting this knob here. And it really is just trial and error uh, to, get the, uh, to get the time correct. But you do have to adjust your grind consistency first, because of course, uh, if you're going finer, uh, you do grind longer. So uh, if you change your grind setting, uh, you're going to have to change your timing as well. And here I'm at 17.1, so I need to go a little bit more, make one more adjustment. And there we have 17.9 grams, so that's pretty close. So I've got the dose I want, and that's going to be repeatable next time I want to make an espresso. Adjusting the digital grinders is the same, except of course, instead of having an analog uh, adjustment, I have a digital one, and I change it by 1 20th of a second. I'll mention that the Rocket Fausto, it's actually made by Eureka, so all of the uh, internals and all of the performance is, is the same. So if you have a Rocket Fausto, uh, you have the same type of knob to make your grind adjustments, and also it has the digital timer. In this tutorial, we used Eureka grinders, but the principles of adjusting your grind finer when your shot is too quick or adjusting your coarser when your shot is too slow applies to every single espresso grinder. So if you have a different brand of grinder or machine, the same principles are going to apply. We've also only covered basic adjustment principles, and that's to adjust based on time and on volume. There are more advanced techniques, which we'll cover in other videos, that deal with weight, and you can also make shorter shots like ristrettos or longer shots, lungos, etc. But this is a good starting point if you're new to espresso. If you have any questions about adjusting your grind or anything to do with coffee or espresso, please reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're here to help, and we're happy to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this, tutorials, comparisons, and videos to do with everything about coffee and espresso. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.